The 2006-2007 Winthrop Eagles men's basketball team was the first Big South team to go undefeated in conference play at 14-0. They were the first Big South team to be nationally ranked in the top 25. And they were the first Big South team with 20 wins in three straight seasons. They were destined to become the first Big South men's basketball team to reach the second round of the NCAA tournament. This is their story. They had a great, great team that year, great players, and they've been, they've been playing pretty well the past couple of years. All the big plays that you guys have made, all the games that you've won, the ranking, the streak, everything, I believe we're a team of destiny. There was a sense all along that, you know, going to the NCAA tournament and not winning is no longer, you know, where we desire to be. And actually, I felt like, a, you know, the world was lifted off our shoulders, you know, because it was a, a struggle win in the past two seasons against Gonzaga and then that heartbreaking shot against Tennessee, Chris Lofton hit, and we just knew we had it in us. So I thought it was a dream come true, and then I realized that we still have another game, you know, in two days, but uh, overall, it was, a, it was a big sigh of relief, you know. That's what we came to do, and uh, we knew that we could do it, and, you know, the whole world knew that we could do it. I've been around the Big South since 1988, and afterwards, I remember saying to someone, you know, in 1988, would I have ever thought that Winthrop University, a member of the Big South, you know, would advance to the NCAA tournament and, and defeat Notre Dame in the first round. So. Um, it was it was the highlight from personally for me with my career. There's a lot of people that it, that make the NCAA tournament, to, but to be able to say that you've advanced and it puts you in an elite group.